Here's a little PowerShell script that can do a decent job of inventorying the software that's installed on a remote computer. Now as you can see this can be targeted either to a single computer or if you wanted to give it a comma separated list of names then it could target all of those computers and bring back all of the results for you. Now the idea is that this is retrieving software application names from both the registry and this is from the portion of the registry that maintains Windows add remove programs list as well as from the Win32 product Windows Management Instrumentation class and that'll include any applications that were installed with Windows Installer. Because it's possible for some applications to live in both places, the script does do a little bit of deduplication to try and ensure that each software application is only listed once. The result of it is just a nice simple list of names that you can then go through and decide if you actually have licenses for all of these things. Now, of course, there's a few things that are wrong with this. For one, querying Win32 product forces Windows Installer to revalidate every single package, so that can be a little bit intrusive if there's a lot of packages, and it can definitely create a performance impact on the machine the user is likely to notice. Another downside is that this doesn't actually tell you what users are using in terms of their software. I mean, sure, it's installed, but are they using it? Because if they're not using it, then well, maybe you shouldn't pay for an upgrade to the next version. Maybe you should just uninstall it. This also doesn't tell you anything about things like suites. You know, you buy a suite of software, but this is going to show you the individual applications. And so that's possibly a little bit less useful. It's going to be harder to connect your inventory back to your original purchasing records. And another thing this doesn't tell you is what your actual entitlements for that software is. Uh, for example, some software doesn't require a license. It's freeware. Some software allows itself to be installed on multiple computers that are all used by the same user. It's licensed per user rather than per actual machine. None of that information is reflected there either. So there's definitely some work that could be done uh, and will have to be done in order to take the output of a tool like this and make it useful. And that starts to demonstrate why asset management is so very complicated and why administrators tend to spend so much time on it.